would you give yourself another chance? Say, for example, you did something wrong. You might have fallen into a bad habit. You might have committed a sin. You might have tried out some drugs. May Allah protect all of us. You might have done something really that you're not proud of, fallen really badly. Would you give yourself another chance? The answer is yes, I would give myself a million chances. And I would always promise Allah that I'm going to come back. I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm not going to do the wrong things. I'm going to try and do the right thing and so on. Why is it that we never ever give others another chance? Look, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, worked on people. He worked on the companions. He worked on those who were the furthest away from worshipping Allah alone. He worked on those who hated his guts, who swore him, who really mocked at him, who did so many nasty things. He worked on those who went to war with him. He actually worked very hard. He prayed for them. He kept trying with them and he won. He won in most cases. And if this was a miracle, something that we are taught. When you see someone who's dropped, when you see someone who's done something nasty, it is not the end of that person's life. That is so unfair. Number one, you don't even know what exactly might have happened in their life. Social media is false. Social media does not give you the right picture in most of the cases. A very small bit of it would probably be true. For us, we need to realize, are you prepared as a father to work on your children? In many cases, people would say, yes, I am, I would. Would you not love for your child who has faltered and gone wrong to come back to the path? The answer is yes, you would. Well, why don't you use the same with the people of the world? Why don't you think when you see someone far away, let me work on this person, let me address them, let me bring them closer. Why is it that we don't even want others to work on people? If you have a criminal, for example, is it that because they were criminal once in their lives, they will remain that way right to the end? That's not fair. We have something known as correctional services in many countries. That's what they call the prisons and that's what they call the, the jails and so on. Correctional services because the idea is to correct them and reintroduce them in society. This person has a right to live. They have a right to be corrected and to have another chance and another one perhaps. Obviously, depending on the magnitude of what has happened, that's a statement. Because if it's a murder or something else, perhaps there are stricter rules. But in our case, there is one major flaw we need to work on. And that is we simply do not give anyone another chance. That's it. It's the end. They bad because of one thing we did not understand that they did. That's crazy. That's crazy. This cancel culture is something that has ruined the lives of relatively good people in many instances where there are people who might have faulted their boys and girls who grew up and they might not have been so conscious of what they were doing at some point in their lives. Are you going to work on them? Where are the leaders? Where are the people who care for society? Where are the people who want to see those who've fallen so hard back up? Subhanallah, there are very few of these. But I swear if the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was in our midst, those are the people he would work on harder than anyone else, much more than all the others, because he has already proven this. So we ask Allah Almighty to help us, to guide us, give people a chance, try and help them. It does not mean because this person in your imagination has done something wrong and you don't even know that that's it. It's over. I won't talk to them. I don't want to have anything to do with them. I won't have anything to do with anyone who has anything to do with them. And the list goes on. It's crazy. Imagine if they had to do that to you, you would be canceled too. With your own rules, if you had to apply them, nobody would talk to you either. People would rule you out and that's it. You lead a depressed, lonely life. Give people a break. At least apply them to them the same rules you'd apply for yourself, your children and your family members. At the end of the day, they are all part of our family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. It's the month of Ramadan. I thought perhaps I would definitely try to, to, to mention something because I've seen so much happening in the world where people are crazy. And the craziness is not from the people who've done the wrong things. That was already wrong, but it's from 
decent people who don't know how to look at those who've made mistakes and how to empower them. We don't even have the patience or the ability or the, or the, or the care that we're supposed to be having within us to bother about rectifying people and building them. You're a true leader the day that you have built people who were broken or who lost the path and they came back and they developed their hope and they actually became much better people. That's what leadership is all about. That's what true scholars or true Muslims are all about. May Allah Almighty bless all of us. You know, I want to end off with one statement I've seen of late. Some people claim to be knowledgeable and so on and their job, their business is to go and dig in the lives of others, no matter who they are. Find something that happened in 1950, 1960, find something that happened in the year 2000 or even 2010 or even whatever, five, ten years back and, and bring it up and try and tarnish the image of others who are no longer the people you think they are. What Islam is that? What Muslim is that? What faith do you have? Which Lord do you belong to and which Prophet do you follow? May Allah bless you all. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.